What's going on today? We got a special guest, SES Productions, Kenna Bowes, a.k.a. Buki Bands. What's going on with you, fam? Yeah, do, cuz. What's going on? Nah, shit, man. Can you tell the people where you was uh, born and raised at? Man, Toledo, Ohio, Mud City, Mud Made, Glass City. You already know what it is. Man, tell me how was it growing up in Toledo, Ohio, a.k.a. the Mud? Nah, shit. I don't know why the motherfuckers be making it seem like till it was so bad for real. Like, I mean, it's got worse, but you know what I'm saying? Growing up, shit, it was cool for real. I ain't really, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we was fucked up, you know what I'm saying? But as far as like having to worry about shit and all that, nah. Like, I had a good ass childhood for real. Like, we'd be outside, you know what I'm saying? Shit, all day. You know what I mean? You just had to get in for them street lights came on. <laughs> okay, uh if, if you can go in detail before you had to go in for the street lights, what what was some of the stuff you was just doing like as a young cat just running <coughs> around, just kicking it at the home? Yeah, I I ain't really get it. Like I went on back and I ain't get into no trouble, like uh shit, it was it was me, shit, I had two brothers and then shit everybody in the neighborhood. Like we my mama was with my dad, we stayed on the south. Okay. You know what I'm saying? On vans, you know what I mean? And then the whole block, you know what I'm saying? We, everybody knew everybody, so we shit. Everybody be outside, you know what I'm saying? Kicking it, you know what I'm saying? Really outside all day from the sun up to the, the sun went down, you know what I mean? Then, what was it? Like fourth grade, we moved out hill. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, and I was out hill shit since fourth grade to, you know what I mean? So, and Everybody knew everybody, so we outside playing football, basketball, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really into the streets or nothing until after I got grown. You know what okay, we're we going we, we gonna to get into that in a minute. So how was uh how was the school life like? School was fun. Niggas be tweaking, man. School <laughs> was fun. The hoes was at and school. Can you, tell, can you tell the people like uh in, in that era, when was you born? So they kind of get a picture of like what year? 1985, 80s baby. Okay, man. 80s baby. So when did you hit the... High school scenery, like, yeah, this this time to figure myself out and... Shit, when I, like... High school was kind of weird for me, for real. Like, okay. especially my freshman year, you know what I'm saying? Because I was little as a bitch. Like, yeah. I weighed, like, 82 pounds. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And everybody else was, you know what I'm saying? Everybody hit their growth spurt and everything, you know what I'm saying? So, I really was, I mean... I was in the girls, but you know I was shy, so I ain't. Really, Word up. I ain't one of them niggas that was just blowing down on chicks and all that. Yeah, shit. yeah. I ain't even lose my virginity. I was like, what? Well, it was some early shit. I don't even <laughs> count that. <laughs> it was some early <laughs> shit. Like, <laughs> before, like we stayed on the song, though. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah. Some shit got my ass. Well, I thought I was fucking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I was fucking or not. You know? Word up. Once I got to high school, I went to Rogers, you know what I'm saying? So, until I was like 16, then we moved up to Michigan, uh, started my junior year. So, once I moved to Michigan, yeah, that's when I really got on girls, you know what I'm saying? What, what? Yeah. Uh, I didn't right, mean to cut you off. Go ahead, go ahead. What uh, part of Michigan was you in? I right, moved to Bow Creek, Michigan. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. But yeah, of course. That's where all your motherfucking cereal come from. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Not playing. Shrink and Kellogg's. Post. Yeah. Boy, you wake up smelling Frosted Flakes in the air. And so it just smell good when uh, you come outside. Smell good. And I don't even eat cereal. Like, I don't eat milk. You know, or I don't drink milk, so yeah. you know what I mean. But shit, that shit I had, you more like shit. Let me get some frosting. Yeah, milk. they smell <laughs> real, real tasty in the air. I can just taste it, man, taste I the air. Tell you, man. Word up. It was fun up there, though. It was fun up there. That's why I started liking white girls too. Okay, if it's so, you saying if if it ain't snowing, yeah, snowing booky bands yeah, ain't going, man. If it ain't snowing, I ain't going. Don't get me wrong, you know what I'm saying? I'll be devil dabble back yeah. there. But you know, nah, it's cool. But that's what I was starting like in white girls. I moved to Battle Creek. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Shout out to Battle Creek, too. Man. For sure, you know for sure. <laughs> hey, uh, so fam, uh, did you graduate? Hell yeah, I graduated. That was one thing that my mama had always, like, I just knew I was, you know what I mean? It wasn't no option. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And when we moved up to Michigan, I actually got kicked out. Mm. My mama kicked me out the crib because she had got married and shit. Crazy thing, I got into a motherfucker. 
Got into a fight with my stepdad in church. You know? <laughs> man, can you? You got it, bro. Come on, you got into a fight with your stepdad at church. Man, That's man, God man. play. Man, listen, buddy, the slid me. You know what I'm saying? In the church. In church. Come man. on, man. man you play. No kissy man, nigga, slid me like. I'm sitting in the back of the church, like church going on. Like, yeah. You know, like, it's real church going on, you feel me? Yeah. My mom up there singing and everything. Buddy tell me move up. So, you know, I mean, I'm 16. I move up. But I probably said something. I don't know if I did or not. Yeah, yeah. So I said, next thing I know, buddy the little dude uh, leaned over like, your daddy ain't here to say, you know. And the next thing I know, he done starts me. Ah. <laughs> uh... He just starts me mad and I well, just, I lost it. Yeah, so your reaction, like, you just blew up like we in the streets. Man, listen, I'm sucking off on everybody. Pastor, the red dog, trying to break up the fight. I just, <laughs> hit him with a stiffy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I forgot I was in church, you know what I'm saying? By the time I even got to the crib, because I had to walk to the crib. Yeah, he blacked out. Man, by the time I got to the crib, my mama had my shit on the front porch, like, yeah, buddy, you got to go. You tweaking. Damn. <laughs> so, shit, I was living by myself. Well, not really living by myself, but, you know what I'm saying? She kicked me out at 16, but I still went to school, though. Okay, so uh, after you graduate, fam, like, what happened after that? Like, when when did you end up like, man, fuck this. Oh, man, I'm about to get in the streets. And man, what? I had, went to college. I went to college for... Yeah, my bad. I should have asked you that too. Oh, no, you good, you good, you good. I did graduate, you know what I'm saying? I graduated. I ended up uh, living with my high school girlfriend and her family and shit. And, uh, this and, nigga had a high school sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 like, don't cap. Like, I live with these white people. Like, I have my own room. Yeah. Everything that I never slept in. Like, me and her slept in her room. We had our own bathroom. Jacuzzi tub, took baths with this bitch every night. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why Player, you, yeah, keeping why the difference? So I had an in-house girl, like, <laughs> at 18, really. But they looked out, though, made sure I graduated and everything. I went to college for, uh, shit, a semester. Like, because I ain't drink or smoke. Like, I, when I tell you, I was straight square. Like, yeah. I wrestled. I played sports. You know what I'm saying? I ran cross country. Oh, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. So, I, I was the nigga talking shit to my friends. Like, y'all niggas drinking them. Y'all drinking and y'all smoking. Like, y'all niggas weirdos. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look at me now. But, you know what I'm saying? I get to college. I went to Western Michigan University. Okay. At, uh, what, what what was uh you, you majoring in? Like, what, what I was a major in political science. I wanted to be a lobbyist. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But... Can you explain uh to the people what that is? Man, you know, they're just lobbyists. Like, say you, you know what I'm saying? Part of the NRA, the National Rifle Association, you want to get a law passed, and you know what I'm saying, you got to, you in Ohio, you got to, you need your senator to vote a certain way, so you hire me to wine and dine him, you know what I'm saying, okay. take him out, try to, you know what I'm saying, get him to vote in your favor, you know what I mean? For sure, that's what's up, too. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean, so it, it was cool, I just... Started partying in college, you know what I said? Well, what was the party in life like? Explain. I never been to college personally myself. What See, What was that like for you? I feel like everybody need to go to college. You know what I said? Especially if you a young nigga and you like bitches, college where you want to be. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, like, bro, that's where all the girls go and be wild. Like, and you know what I said? But college was cool, but only thing about college, like, you got to be disciplined because you ain't... Them teachers and shit, like, they gonna get paid regardless if you right. come to class or not. not yeah. You know what I mean? So, you gotta wanna go to class. You gotta wanna, you know what I'm saying? Your parents ain't there. You basically your first time being on your own. Right. And that basically what happened to me, shit. All my friends, they drank and smoke in high school, so they could party and still get up and go to class. Boy, I'm going to a party. I'm in bed for the next three days. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not used to drinking. And yeah. Shit, you know what I'm saying? So, but uh, yeah, college. I, I feel like er everybody should go experience the college experience. Okay. Uh, you got kids? You yeah, I have two of them. Okay. Uh, how did that change your life, bro? Shit, man. Really, it, it just gave me a purpose for real. Like, uh, it wasn't just about me no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, with my son, I was still in the streets. You know what I'm saying? But when my daughter, when my daughter came, mm -hmm. it's different with you when you have a little girl. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. I love both my kids the same. But 
You know what I'm saying? It's just like with your little girl, you just feel like you got to protect her. And you know what I'm saying? For sure. You got you to gotta be out here for them. Ain't nobody going to take care of your kids like you're going to take care of your kids. So, yeah, they, they, they definitely played a role in my life of getting out of the streets. Right, you know right. What, I'm saying? So, what, what can you tell the people that help you grow from all that? Like, what help you grow? Man, to where shit, you- just going through shit, man. Like, going through shit. A lot of shit could have been avoided. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I tell a lot of young niggas, like, man, bro, streets ain't where it's at, bro. Like, it's, it's not, you gon' it caught, like, I'll be blushing to the nigga Wallow. Mm-hmm. Wallow and Gilly, man, not worth a gang. That nigga Wallow be like, it costs too much to be a criminal. Shit, it, it, it do. Yeah. And you gotta figure in, you know what I'm saying? You get jammed up, and you got you gotta pay a bond. You lawyers. You got lawyers, mm-hmm. restitution, fines. Yep. You know what I'm saying? All that shit, you know what I'm saying? And then you still gotta try to maintain a life. You know what I'm saying? When you out here on the streets, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it just costs too much. Like, it's easier to just do the right thing and, and, and just get a job. You know what I mean? Let oatmeal beat no meal. Right, square business. You know what I mean? Uh, what, what, can you, can you say, like, you done seen some crazy shit in Toledo just offhand, like, in the club or, <laughs> and, like, just give me some crazy, like, just Bad. details. You know uh, what I'm saying? We used to rumble. Back in the day, like, it ain't how like it is now. Like, these young niggas now, they quick to, they ain't fighting, man. They not thinking about no fighting. Like, they going straight to the pipes. But, shit, back in the day, all oh, niggas used to get to do it in a club, boy. But it was, it was like, but every side of town had their own club, though. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Like, south side had their own club. North side had their own club. Up the way had their own club. And then once in a while, it'd be an event. Yeah. No, you know what? I I got a story, crazy as shit. Right. Downtown, I usually don't even go downtown. We go downtown at Coyote Joe's one night. Cleveland State college niggas was in Toledo for something. I don't know what they was at. Something happened at at the Shadow Lounge. When I say this, is the only time I was nervous. <laughs> like, oh At least you keep it way. When I'm saying it's like thirty of these niggas from Cleveland State. Boy, they dropping shit, nigga. They dropping shit. They like any nigga from Toledo can get. I mean, they should jumping on nigga slaps, nigga. I mean, bro, they big cocky ass niggas. I'm like, oh yeah, it's time to get up out <laughs> this bitch, boy. I'm a little ass nigga, boy. You niggas hit me. Yeah. I gotta go to my pipe. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no choice. Boy, man. Baby. Nah, bro, I had to get up out of there. But yeah, that probably was the craziest shit. I ever seen in Toledo like them niggas, but niggas ain't fighting no more though. Yeah, niggas, niggas going straight to their pipes. That's so. a different generation. Yeah, I don't want no problems with you niggas. Like yes sir, no sir. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gonna get down or you gonna lay down? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no steady. You know but, what I'm saying? But so, for I don't so, for so, nothing. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, these I don't know, man. It, it, the times are different now, man. Young niggas, they. I don't know, man. It must be the music or something. I don't know. It'd be influencing these little niggas because, boy, these niggas can't read, but these boys sure got guns with switches Switch, on it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Just flick it. Yeah. yeah. But if niggas not know it, boy, you got to check in your guns uh, at the gate. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no guns where y'all niggas going. You know what I'm saying? You niggas can't fight. Shit. You gonna be a long motherfucker 25 in life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you so, know, a lot of niggas need to think about that shit before they be out here pulling that pipe, my nigga. Because, boy, I done seen the toughest niggas turn soft, mushy. When we, when niggas got to check in behind yeah. the walls, boy. Nigga, you ain't, got, you ain't got 20 niggas behind you, nigga. You ain't got that pipe on you, boy. It's just you. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. You praying to God. You praying to God. Now, <laughs> now you on the phone crying. All type of shit. Boy, you was just tough on the ground. These niggas out here taking your trays, your commissary, all yeah. that shit. I have yeah. seen it. I'm For sure. Tell you, I done seen it. Uh, let, me, let me ask you this. Uh, what, where can you see yourself in the next five years, Boogie mm. Vans? In Las Vegas, sipping on a pina colada in my backyard, in my swimming pool. You feel me? Because I'm getting the fuck out of Toledo. That, that's the next move that's for you. That's the next move for me, man. You so. know, I love it on the West Coast, man. It's too cold here. I uh, can't do it. I'm a little nigga. This weather ain't for me. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Uh, Is there anything that you would tell our younger generation? Stay in school, man. Our niggas need to stay in school, man. Y'all niggas need to get education. I'm trying to tell you. Like I said earlier. 
college is where you niggas want to be. Shit. Bitches be running rapping in college. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? You want to know what the fuck is going on. You know what I'm saying? Knowledge is power, man. For sure. You know what I'm saying? But you, I'm, the I'm more you know, the less a motherfucker can try to trick you. You know what I'm saying? For we sure. research on everything. What, what what can you say your se- your success is now? Like, what is your success that you came from all that in the past to right now? Where you said Just being more uh, accountable and, you know what I'm saying, grateful for the shit that I do got. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got to always want to compete and keep up with motherfuckers, man. You just stay true to yourself and stay in your own lane. You know what I mean? And success is really what you... You know what I'm saying? Deem success is like my success may not be the same as your success. You For sure. Me? For sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I feel like I'm just successful if I raise, you know what I'm saying, respectable kids, you know what I'm saying, with morals and integrity, you know what I'm saying, and For watching sure. them grow. That's really what I'm doing now. I'm basically investing in my kids, making them be the best that I know that they can be. You know what I'm saying? So.